First impressions matter, so it's important to know how to edit the welcome message of your Copilot Studio agents. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that, as well as three different strategies for starting conversations with agents to give the best user experience. The agent that I built today is called the IT Help Desk Agent, and as you can see over in the test panel, it's using the default welcome message. So how can we change that? Let's go over to our topics, and you'll notice that we're on custom topics, but instead, let's go over here to system topics. And system topics, these are the topics that are necessary to help your agent run effectively. They come built in. One of those topics is the conversation start. And here, when I click on the message in conversation start, you can see it matches with what's in the test panel. So this is what we have to edit to change our agent's welcome message. All right, let's change it to something different. There we go. I'm going to click the Save button, and let's see what comes up in the test panel. All right. Great. Awesome. That's our new welcome message. And I like this welcome message a lot more than the default one. Why? Well, in this message, it says, I can help create a new support ticket or check the status of an existing ticket. It tells the user exactly what the agent can do. So when they go and type in that next message, they're more likely to hit upon a topic or some knowledge or something that the agent can do. So it gives the user a little bit more direction. Now, let's kick that up a notch. What if we could have the agent present the user a couple of buttons so they don't have to type in those words, create new support ticket, or check the status of an existing ticket, and it takes them straight into the topic? How could we do that? Well, the first thing that I want to show you is that I do have two topics here for creating a support ticket and checking the status of a current ticket. So let's click on those. So we have one topic here and we have another topic right here. Great. And in the agents that you're building, you're going to have other topics, right? So we're not going to go through how to do these things, creating support tickets or checking the status of a previous support ticket. The concept here is that we just want to show how do you redirect into another topic. So let's go back to our conversation start. And what do we want to do here? So instead of a message, what we want to do instead is we want to create a question. Let's go create that question. So we can use the same message that we have over here in our question, but instead we're going to give the user some multiple choice options. And one of the options will be create a new support ticket. And the other option will be check an existing support ticket. Hmm. There we go. So we've got one and two. I guess I'll have to type that one in again. Check an existing support ticket. There we go. We'll rename this variable here to user response. And let's take a look at what happened as we created those new options. So I'll hit the Save button. And when I can scroll down, here you can see that the Copilot Studio Editor has created a couple of conditions. So when the user selects Create a New Support Ticket, the agents can execute any actions under this branch of logic. Then over here, we have another one for check an existing support ticket. So it's going to execute anything under here in its logic. So what we can do is we can use our topic management and redirect to another topic. It's actually called go to another topic. But when we put it onto the screen, yeah, okay, awesome. It's called topic. Great. So when I click on that button, we're going to go over there. Let's add another one, topic management and check the status of a support ticket. So great. And then the last thing that we want to do is we want to use our topic management once again. And if they don't type in the right thing, we're just going to put end conversation right here because we don't really want them to go down that branch. We want them to just do one of the things that is there and built into our agent to do. Okay. So I'll click Save here, and let's see what happens. This is going to be pretty exciting. I'll hit the Refresh button. 
then when I do that, down here you can see I've got a create a new support ticket button and a check an existing support ticket button. Awesome. So I'll click on one of those, create a new support ticket. And when I do, you can see I've booted right into the next topic. Awesome. And the user doesn't even have to go ahead and type it in there. So again, I really like this option because it's so simple for the user to know what the agent can do and you kind of help them fall into that pit of success by just having them click a button. Okay, there's one more technique and strategy I'm going to show you. And this last one is, what if you don't want to have a welcome message at all? What if you don't want to have a welcome message at all? Well, if you don't want to have a welcome message, there's two ways you can do it. <laughs> you can delete everything here inside of conversation start, or you can just go ahead and disable the conversation start topic. Then we'll go ahead and we don't actually need to save that. I can just hit this refresh button. And now the agent won't show anything when it starts up. Now, why would I wanna go ahead and do that? Well, if you've chosen the pay as you go billing option, you'll be charged for every message that the copilot sends back to the user. So you might be trying to do this to save a little bit of costs, but that comes at the expense of the user experience. Without the welcome message, the user doesn't know what the agent can do and what to type next. So I always recommend leaving the welcome message in your agents to provide the best user experience. That's it, that's the video.